Doom is everywhere. It's on your PC right now, and it's probably on your dedicated DOS system, which I know you have, wink wink. And it's also in your asshole. And yet there is no doom with ray tracing until today. GitHub user Sultum T. Hark has created Doom Ray Tracing, adding realistic lighting to your Doom experience, and it changes everything. Welcome to today's Ultimate Modding Guide series, a guide helping siphon through the best mods on the internet to give you a good experience. And today, Doom is looking better than ever with not only color lighting, but ray tracing to boot. I want to give a huge thank you to Josh over at Video Game Addicts on the Facebook page group for actually giving me a copy of Doom PC. And because of that, I was able to extract the wad and use this for today's uh, ray tracing mod. So thank you so much, Josh. It's a huge, huge help. Of course, since this is going to be ray tracing, this is only going to be using RTX graphics cards. So the 3060 series, I think the 20 as well. I'm pretty sure there are other ray tracing cards that are out there that can use this, but keep in mind, it's only for dedicated ray tracing graphics cards. There is an option for OpenGL, which you can use, but it kind of defeats the purpose of having a ray tracing mod. So if you're going to go that route, might as well play a source port like GZ Doom. So how do you get this running? And it's one of the most simple things you can do. All you have to do is go into Sultim's GitHub and download his assets. You need to make sure you have a Doom wad. You could either get this from your floppy disk, uh, the CD of Doom, or in most cases for people, you can get it on GOG as well as Steam. All you have to do is drag and drop the wad into the ray tracing folder and you're set. If you also want to use DLSS, you can download the file also from his asset page. And if you also want to use Roland SC55, which was the original sound font that was used for Doom, you could also download it from this website, which has recordings of all the Doom soundtracks captured on Roland hardware. So all you have to do is just put it in here and the source port reads those files. While I wouldn't really say that Doom was known for its lighting, except for let's say the PS1 port or Doom 64, this one adds a whole slew of lighting options that is pretty incredible and almost brings the experience pretty reminiscent to Doom 3 in terms of some lighting and some darker atmosphere. This does take advantage of ray tracing, which also gives specific points of the game some lighting that was never really seen before, and it looks absolutely incredible. I've never really seen Doom at this angle, and if you guys just see, look at the gameplay, it's just nothing short but incredible. Certain areas like this mainframe also has a beautiful blue glow that just illuminates you when you're walking around, or even the radioactive water that is actually glistening up, and you don't really see that prominently in the original, but with this comparison shot, you can see just how beautiful and vibrant that green hue is, and you can see it reflect upon some of the walls and everything. Because the lighting is so dynamic at this point, Sultum created a flashlight option. By toggling F, you're able to toggle the flashlight because some game, some parts of this game get extremely dark, so the only way to play is to use a flashlight. This also heightens the tension that does bring reminiscence to Doom 3 in terms of how it plays, but it is nice to see that there is an option for that. If you don't like the flashlight option, you can always toggle it off in the menu that has the classic player light. So whenever you're just walking around, you don't need the flashlight, but it is nice to have a new way of playing Doom in this way that uses the atmosphere to its advantage and kind of undertakes you. The lighting of Doom is the most attractive feature of Doom RTX. You can see some of even the glowing totem poles when you're entering hell, how beautiful they glisten. Or you could even see the blood rivers right here and how the waves just kind of jostle up and down with light refracting beautifully upon the waves. It's something that I really haven't seen in Doom. And of course, this is a technique used in ray tracing, but I just think it's implemented absolutely beautiful. And while not intentional, some of the gameplay does remind me of Doom PS1 that also uses colored lighting throughout uh, the scope of the game, but it is used more realistically in the way some of the areas of the game that are supposed to emanate light do so a little bit more properly than, uh, let's say, just random colored lighting, although it is a nice aesthetic choice to have with the previous Doom titles. And if you're a pretty big Doom fan and love playing the original CDs and floppies, leave a like and a subscribe. I think I know if you're truly in love with Doom. 
The source port has plenty of options to use if you wanted to change Doom to how you're liking. Of course, the resolution of your monitor is going to be what you can put it at, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. So ultra wide, widescreen, uh, 4K, you got options here. The render size is a pretty cool thing, allowing you to change the internal resolution uh, and you can drop it all the way to 240p. My problem with the 240p option is that while it does look fantastic in terms of the pixel density, I am not a fan of the applied CRT feature. The CRT filter adds scan lines, of course, but it also adds severe color bleeding that I'm not really a big fan of and it meshes horribly with the ray tracing, at least in my opinion. So I would absolutely recommend if you want to change the resolution as low as possible, change it to 480p, which actually still drops the resolution, but you don't have to deal with the CRT filter. I would have liked Sultan to add a separate uh, CRT filter by itself. So if you wanted to drop it to 240p, and you just wanted to play with scan lines, you could do that. But if you wanted to still play in 240p without the scan line option, I would have loved that, or even other resolutions as well. That would have been a really nice thing to have. When you do raise the resolution as well as the render size, you also can turn on DLSS, which will properly scale the game to your liking, and it runs so beautifully. Once you have this enabled, you should be good. But if you have it at lower render sizes, uh, DLS will be turned off and make sense since it's not really scaling up to anything. So that's an option to have if you do want to have that, but I think it's a very cool thing to have. You also have options to turn off the muzzle gunshot uh, light effect, and it just looks amazing. But if you don't like that, if you want to keep it stock and just have the ray tracing feature, you can do that. For Bloom fans, you can uh, make it as exaggerated as you want. You could turn it off completely. And you also have two sets of lights for each light that's emanating in the game. And it looks absolutely fantastic. But if you don't even like some of these features, you can tweak it to your liking. And I can go on and on about the other features of the uh, source port, but allows you to use some of the sound card emulations from Sound Blaster. You can also use AdLib as well as other sound emulations. There is a ton of options for rendering as well as quality. The list goes on and on, but you can tweak this game how you want to. It's not as customizable as let's say GZ Doom Source Port, but I think in terms of options, uh, Sultan did a great job putting as many features as I think people would really care about. And I think you'll have a really great D Doom experience otherwise. I was live streaming this not too long ago and someone asked, can you run Doom in RTX 2? Good question, and I'll show you that answer. You can actually, but keep your expectations in check. This mod was made specifically for the original Doom 1 experience, but you can play this with Doom 2, but I wouldn't be surprised if there are lighting inconsistencies and maybe some lighting is not gonna be uh, rendered properly. And while Doom 1 and 2 do use the same assets while adding some new ones along the way, some of it might not be rendered properly, but it is something you can do and it does play pretty cool using RTX with Doom 2. Chat also wanted to know when I was streaming if I can use other wads, and you can. If this... <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> I actually didn't think this would work. This is fucking... I also was able to test out Chex Quest, which looks phenomenal, by the way. You can use the original Chex Quest wad, but you can't use Chex Quest 2, 3, Hexen. You can't use any other ones as well. The only ones that I was able to test to my ability was Doom 1, Doom 2, and Chex Quest. But if there are any other Doom wads that you think could work with this, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear that. And that's the Doom ray tracing experience. I have never played Doom in this fashion having beautiful realistic lighting, and I'm a huge fan of uh, the PS1 as well as the lighting on uh, Doom 64, and it kind of sucks that we don't really have many boomer shooters that are, that are playing with that kind of lighting, but to see kind of Doom 1 having ray tracing, but also harking back a little bit to the classic lighting of those uh, ports, I think it's phenomenal and you guys will have a great experience. But what do you guys think? How are you gonna be playing Doom 1 you still prefer the vanilla experience or is ray tracing calling you home to hell? Let me know in the comments below and 
let's see if you're gonna have a good doom time. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I just want to mention a huge thank you to uh, My Dreamy Adventure on SoundCloud. I asked him if I could use some of his permission to use some of his music in this video and he was very gladly accepting of doing so. So all of the music is done by him and I'll leave a link down below. If you want to support the channel, I'll have links right here. But if you also want to see other videos that I do, you can see right here. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you very soon.